Civil forfeiture is a procedure that gives law enforcement agencies the power to seize property if it's suspected of being related to a crime. The tool was conceived with good intentions as a way to curb the profit motive that comes with crimes like drug trafficking. But in recent years, police departments have begun to abuse the federal law. In fact, local and state law enforcement agencies have made more than 55,000 seizures of cash and property worth $3 billion since 2008. And now, lawmakers are paying attention. Law enforcement agencies may want to have a Dodge Viper to use in parades, but this is not the way to get it. That's Congressman Tim Wahlberg. He's one of the leading voices on reforming civil forfeiture. He and Senator Rand Paul have joined forces to put an end to the practices that are being abused. Together, they introduced the FAIR Act, the Fifth Amendment Integrity Restoration Act. The law would provide protections for citizens whose property is seized and limit the abilities of law enforcement to profit from forfeiture. Wahlberg and Paul are getting a lot of help from lawmakers on both sides of the aisle. Wahlberg is confident civil forfeiture reform is something Republicans can even work with President Obama on. Because you have a House and a Senate Democrat-Republican conferences that see concerns in this area. The President, I think he could coincide with us on this. Last month, Attorney General Eric Holder announced a measure calling for the Justice Department to stop adopting state civil forfeiture cases. And Wahlberg believes the introduction of the FAIR Act, coupled with Holder's directive, makes civil asset forfeiture reform a real possibility.